It is common to see chairs stacked on top of each other like the one you are seeing in the picture. So this is a stack of chairs. We have a data structure and an abstract data type known as stack which arranges objects in a similar fashion. So let us study about stack in this video. So what is a stack? The abstract data type definition of a stack says that it is a collection of objects that are accessed from one end. So you have a collection of objects that can only be accessed from one end. In this case, the top of the stack. And there are two primitive options, one for addition and one for deletion of elements. For addition, you use the push operation and for deletion, you use the pop operation. And there is a constraint and it says that all the operations are done on the top of stack. So if you have to add an element, it goes from the top of stack inside the stack. And if you have to delete an element, it should always be deleted from top of the stack. That means the topmost element will get deleted. Now a stack is also called as last in first out. Why? Because the object that goes in last will be out the first. To explain it further, let us view this animation. So we have a stack of three elements. Now let us push this number seven onto the stack. So it will go on top of the stack as defined by the stack abstract data type. So the number seven that we have pushed is the last element to go inside the stack. Now what would be the element that comes out first? Well, the number that we have pushed because you can have operations only on the top of stack. So seven, if we have to pop it, will go out. So last in and first out. Let us recap what we have studied. A stack is a collection of elements accessed only from one end. So you have only one end open. To add elements to the stack, you use the push operation. So it will add elements on top of the stack. And to delete elements from the stack, you use the pop operation, which will delete elements from the top of the stack. And stack is also known as last in first out because the reason being that only one end is open for operations. That is why the last element to go in should be the first one to come out. So this was about the introduction to a stack. Next, we are going to dig deeper into how to perform operations on the stack, starting with the push operation.